Hello, welcome to Show of the Weekend. I'm Andy. And I'm Jane. And do we have a show for you right hey here Hey, guys. Man. Oh, what? They're both recovered and well and here today. When does that ever happen? I guess we'll leave you to it. Right. No, it's fine. I had a whole quiz yeah, lined up. Know. But, you know, just forget I'm that. The new Andy. theme song with the rap breakdown. Had a cowboy spectacular planned. Yeah, I've got delivery for a thousand balloons and a pony here for Andy Farron. Send them back. I'm not doing it anymore. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Guess who's back? Yeah, back, back again, 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 again. We Oxtra's back, are back, back, back. Please tell your friends, please. please. God tell your friends. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Ellen. Yes. What have you been up to, I, you rascal? I have been playing on my Switch a little bit of Zelda, but we've covered that to death. And instead, I'm going to talk to you. About <laughs> Is there not more to say? Is there not quite a bit more? I think we should talk about another game that has recently come to the Switch, which is Stardew Valley. I have slightly missed the boat on this game because it's, it's sure it's, have. It's, it's been huge on <laughs> like PC and it's come to consoles and I was like oh, I'll just play for a bit like to you know get an idea of what it's like and two hours later I was still playing it and must, must, <laughs> <laughs> must, must finish that it. sentence what's at the end of the must <laughs> must must to get turnips <laughs> <laughs> But the game was good as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the game was very good. I like the fact that it is that little bit different from like regular farming games. I like the art design of it. Oh, I spent it's beautiful, isn't a it? very long time making my character because I wanted to make a, as close to kind of me as I possibly could. Yeah, um, and my face is like six pixels across. Yeah, but it's the hair. Uh, the, I've got very distinctive hair. Is that the customer character created, even though you're making something that's like, yeah, as you say, a pixel high? It's, <laughs> so, it's incredibly deep. Okay. Yeah. And I made the mistake of calling my farm Rose Farm, not realising that they oh, add farm. Oh, yeah. So, so it's I'm Rose on farm Rose Farm. farm. <laughs> Oh, this was Animal Farm Farm when we played it. <laughs> I made the exact same yeah. mistake. It's a, well, yours um, is a farm that makes rose farms. Yeah, but I've really enjoyed exploring the town, meeting some of the quirky characters. And I've been to meet the wizard. Um. <laughs> I don't remember a wizard. Yeah. No, there is a wizard. Yeah. I learned how to fish. I did some fishing. Nice. Although I will say, like they gave you a fishing rod and they were like not very clear on what you actually had to do to fish. Pop so in the water. I, I had, well, yeah, but like they're not completely clear on what all the buttons are. So I felt it was a little bit trial and error. But I, I caught a sardine, and <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just a famously small thing. <laughs> It was one inch. It was a one inch long sardine. So not even, not even <laughs> <that big for sardines. laughs> the sardines call that one the sardine. Yeah, but it's, it's what you can catch with like the rubbish rod that they give you first for free. Okay, and no bait. I think I did pretty well. Yeah, no, you and did. I'm not saying you didn't do well with what you've got. Yeah, I'm not. People were pulling a rib on you. Yeah. No, oh, and then I went to the. Well, that Were they was all behind the, the bush, being like, "She's doing it. She's <laughs> doing it. What she got? Oh my god. Oh my god. She caught a sardine. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's only an inch long. Everyone act normal. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> so you did a really good job uh, catching uh, some <laughs> great. Patronise uh, me. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me try again. Sounds like fishing went great, mm -hmm. and you did, and you did swell. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it was really fun. And that is the story. And I'm looking forward to digging more into it. I think it is really good having it like with the portability. However, mm. I came across dun, dun, dun. a little bit of a, a bug, a little bit of a problem with it in that I was playing and then my speakers started crackling, which I thought was just my speakers. Yeah. But then when I'd finished capturing what I wanted to be able to show you guys what I've been up to, I actually took it into my bed because I was like, I want to cut up and continue playing this game because I'm enjoying it. And the sound continued from my Switch and I was very worried that I'd broken my Switch. But then I quit it, started up Zelda and it worked fine. Right. The sound, there was no crackling. 
I went, I googled it, and other people have been experiencing this problem, which right. is a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame, especially because the music in that game is so lovely. Yeah, the music yeah. is brilliant. It really fits the art and style because it's so synthy pixels. Yeah, and like kind of a little bit retro y, but also with like a modern twist, which mm. it all fits in. The theme is really nice. Mm. Right. It's like bling, bling, bling. <laughs> 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 Any uh, music artists out there <laughs> available to hire? <laughs> if you quit it and then restart it again, it goes away, but oh. it eventually comes back again. That's so weird. Um, so uh, please, please fix that as soon as possible because I want to play it as much as possible without having to quit all the time. Because the other thing is that saves take a long while. And they warn you this I read that, yeah. on the loading screen. Every time a new day starts, it saves your progress, which takes a while. And it's to kind make of like, the most of every day. Yeah, it, you have to make the most of every day, but you also have a limited amount of energy per day. Right. So you're kind of restricted to, you have to go through this safe progress every okay. once in a while. <laughs> It's a little bit kind of like, ugh, okay. I'll be interested to see when it comes to the Switch how Skyrim does with loading times. Because on- They're bad already. Console, it's like, let's, right, let's go into the outside world, loading the whole of Skyrim. Oh man, I said Bye. it going and then make breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And then eat breakfast and then wash up. Yeah. And read the paper. Yeah. And then play Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> When you were playing the game, whenever yeah. I play a Harvest Moon game, I always end up going to sleep at like 2 p.m. or mm -hmm. 3 p.m. Just because you're like, I've done the farming, <sighs> just want the crops. So, so I'm just like, <laughs> I'll go to bed and that'll yeah. make dunk. And then I wake up and like, just basically I'm up for an hour, just yeah. being like water, 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 water. Yeah. And then dunk bed. Yeah. I live a joyless life in Harvest Moon. Uh, Would well, you say that your Stardew Valley life is joyless? I started off like that. Mm. And then I kept getting messages in the mailbox being like, come to the blacksmith, come to the shop, and you can buy more yeah. seeds. And basically... <laughs> You're like, no, water, 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 <laughs> sleep. Water, 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 sleep. That way it very nicely, organically forced me to go and like explore the area Clever. out of my out of sheer curiosity. Yeah. And I had to go to the museum, but the museum's in the library and they don't tell you that. That right. was one little thing that I was a bit confused by. The reason why I did stay at my farm for the first few days is because I was like, right, farming sim, so I gotta like focus on the farm for a little bit and then I'll have a look. But had I opened up my little menu, it's yeah. like your little journal, because there is a cursor in the game. Yes. Which of took there is. me a while to work out. Yeah. And then I was like, there's this flashing exclamation mark and I don't know what button I pressed to get to it. And then I realised, oh, it's the right stick. And I go over there. It would have been like, look, here are all of these little quests for you to go on so you get money. Oh, and I was like unknowingly uh, completing quests, yeah. but not claiming my reward because you have to go into that little oh, menu to get, the thing. to get the money. Just because I didn't know that little button, I spent the first like four days or so just being like, I'm just going to stay at the farm and not do anything. And water, then, water, water, sleep. <laughs> water, water, water. Yeah, so it was like 20 minutes of just being like, oh, I'm just going to farm. And then it was like, oh, it's a huge game and I'm completely not looking around yet. I was worried if, of it being a time sink that would keep me locked to my console or to uh, my laptop or whatever. Yep. But with but this... no! Easily. The manacles are shattered. Yeah. You hoist Stardew Valley aloft. Yeah. Um... And then just hold it up there and play it. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, Ellen, I hope you enjoyed the pleasant pastel shades, yeah. uh, endearing music, it was and lovely. lovely, charming pixelated graphics of Stardew Valley, because we're about to take an extremely abrupt tonal shift into the evil within to Ellen. I could ask if you're ready, but you're not. You're not ready. You can save her. That psycho is still on the loose in here. And he's got Lily. This chase has been entertaining. But even the greatest entertainments must come to an end. It's always a good one when the laptop's here. Mm -hmm. Ellen, <laughs> The Evil Within 2 is another dose of psychological horror that sees you, Sebastian Castellanos, plunged into a virtual world within your missing daughter's mind. The world is filled with horrors, 
some of which I listed at E3 when the game was first unveiled. One of those horrors was what I believed to be a spooky penguin covered in milk, <laughs> but, no, but that no end of commenters were quick to assure me was actually a crow. So Ellen, first question, does this look like a crow or a penguin to you? It looks like a crow. <laughs> it's the bent of the wings. I mean, I guess, but it's like the, it's the roundness of the top of the... Most birds have that roundness at the top of their head. <laughs> But I have so... a this at the top of the head, so do you. It's, but... a, it's a thing with heads. Oh my god, you're a penguin. <laughs> anyway, look, I just wanted to get that out of the way. That was question one. <laughs> Sebastian's nemesis in this creepy reality is Stefano Valentini, a grisly photographer who themes his nightmarish horror experiences around his love of still life photography. Ellen, mm -hmm. if you were a supernatural being devoted to creating endless horrors, how would you theme them? YouTube videos. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> they like a box their own head. <laughs> <laughs> a giant up and down thumb yeah. handle, just like brr, 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 brr. <laughs> The all subscribe set. orb rolling down. The <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then it's all set in a weird version of London. Oh, I, okay. I know the streets of London like the back of my hand. Sure. And if you want That's to survive, you, would... you must learn them as well. Ellen, well done answering question two. <laughs> and well done on those warm up questions. Oh, now no. prepare your soul for terror as you are plunged into Luke's evil within two labyrinth of unhappiness. <laughs> Name only just thought up on. Spooky lighting. That's right, already the horror. Horror. It's, it's begun. <laughs> the horror of bad lighting. The horror of bad lighting. <laughs> it's so unflattering. Ah! <laughs> you have three lives. Oh no, no, yeah. this again. Yeah, this again. Uh... You awake in the middle of a street. It is very dark. Through the gloom, you can pick out the silhouette of prim houses evenly spaced along the road. As your eyes adjust, you see that cars are parked in driveways, discarded toys litter the lawns, and yet no lights are visible. As you take a step, you feel the tarmac beneath your feet is bizarrely ruptured. Wind rushes through the trees, or is it something else that's stirring the overgrown bushes that border the nearest house? The one with the door that yawns open. You feel an overwhelming instinct to hide. <laughs> Do you A, run towards the nearest house in search of safety? Mm -hmm. Or B, stay rooted to the spot, maybe everything will be fine? <laughs> well, first I'd be thinking about writing a strongly worded letter to the council uh, sure. about the people letting their hedges grow over. I think, I think I'm, gonna, I'm gonna brave it and take a look in one of the houses. Yeah. The choice is made? Yeah. The choice is made. Yeah. You've chosen option A. Yeah. You noisily grope your way up the lawn, stumbling as you're- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I am as quiet as a mouse. It comes with the size. <laughs> you noisily grope your way up the lawn, stumbling as your large feet catch in the knotted grass. I'm, like, I'm the smallest feet on the team. Clattering into a trash <laughs> <laughs> Behind you from the bushes, a gasping, rattling sound oh. grows louder. As you scramble up the front steps, the front door of the house slams open in a gust of wind and a wave of freezing air bursts forth. Do you A, lunge through the opening into the cold darkness of the house or B, turn to investigate whatever is outside? I'm going to investigate because it's probably going to be a rabbit or something. <laughs> you whirl around to face the hedge. A dark shape springs from between two thorny bushes. It is only a cat with asthma. Yeah! <laughs> It's rattling, wheezing the owl brings a cheer to your soul. Gain one life! Yay! And Yay! turn to head into the house. <laughs> Through the door and into a long corridor, you hear a loud slamming behind you. You whirl around, but the door has vanished, leaving only a wall covered in mouldering wallpaper that looks a lot like the kind in Andy's house, except his is less mouldery. You turn again to look down the corridor and see a looming figure is visible at the end. There is a high whining noise as, in a smooth movement, it raises something to head height. Do you A, curl up in a defensive ball, or B, charge forward in a reckless attack? <laughs> I'm going to uh, curl up because I think it's probably actually Andy, because the wallpaper. <laughs> you curl up in a defensive ball. There it is. <laughs> and hear a loud click as a camera flash goes off. 
How clever of you to deduce that it was what the figure was holding and to shield your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Cleverly deduced, Ellen, well done. You unfurl to find the figure gone and proceed cautiously along the corridor. You move quietly as possible along the dank passageway. You're aware that the temperature has dropped even further to freezing levels, but it doesn't seem to bother you. The walls appear to be narrowing though, which is a more, shall we say, pressing concern. <laughs> the light grows dimmer as you tumble forward to the spot where you first saw the figure. So dark now that you don't see the door in front of you until you bash straight into it. You can hear a low grinding sound coming through the door. The walls feel very close now. <laughs> Do you A, open the door and face whatever is on the other side, B, search quickly around for clues, or C, stay in the corridor, I'm not going through there, you must be joking. <laughs> I'm gonna look around the corridor, see for clues. For clues? Yeah. Do you poke around in the darkness at your feet, and in a sliver of light that comes through the bottom of the door, you see a scrap of rectangular paper. You can't read the language, but three shapes stand out. What looks like a sort of M, an S, and a C, you guess? You feel you may be on the verge of learning more, but the walls are pressing in tighter now. You struggle with the doorknob, but eventually manage to turn it enough to open the door, which swings open to reveal a large, open, grey expanse. Concrete stretches as far as your eyes can pierce the gloom. The horizon pitted with the shadows of giant industrial buildings, belching smoke into the swirling night. Are you there in your... you're there? Mm -hmm. I can see. I'm there, see, I'm there. It's, all, it's becoming too real. Two buildings stand out. One must be several miles in the distance, but you can tell immediately it's some kind of cannery or fish processing plant. The other is closer, a gargantuan brick edifice, lit with an orange glow and the source of the grinding sound you heard. Silhouetted human forms can be seen at every window. You hurry up to the wrought iron front gate for a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> Built into the railings, you see two smaller iron gates. Besides each stands a disjointed mannequin. Mannequins, enter. <gasps> Creepy mannequins. Ah, horrifying to look at. The mannequins turn to fix you with their unfeeling stare. The mannequins begin to speak in a tongue you've never heard. Bonjour, je suis un mannequin effrayant. Comment ça va? Ooh. Oh no, I did Spanish at school. Comment t'appelles-tu? As the mannequins ramble on, the speech becomes clearer somehow. Hello. As if they are molding themselves <laughs> to your native language. I'm a scary mannequin. What is up, Ooh. you guys? As they settle Ooh. into silence. Sorry. An intercom built into the wall crackles into life. Welcome to M. Chanel's Abandoned Mannequin Factory. <laughs> Only one door, left or right, will see you safely pass within. One of my mannequin guards always tells the truth. The other always lies. Question them at your leisure. You hear a high electrical whine from the house you just came from. Looking back, you see the outline of the shadowy figure that held the camera before. With unnatural steps, he starts to walk towards you. There's nowhere to run. You turn to the mannequins as your mind races for a solution. Oh god, I can't remember what the, the solution to this riddle Mannequin is. Five. So, <laughs> how many questions can I ask? As many as you want. Right. Although the man is approaching. Um, His steps echoing louder now. Okay, was that man carrying a camera? Who are you addressing? Uh, this one. This bearded mannequin. No. Okay. I'm gonna ask you, are you guarding the door that is to safety? Yes. Okay, I go through that door. You are going for the left door. You run through the left door. Yeah which opens into a large atrium. Mannequins line your path, <laughs> each beckoning welcomingly towards a large loading bay, yeah. which leads out through the factory and into a dark wilderness. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, a flash of light illuminates the vast room and you realize your foe is still hot on your heels. Eee! Clearly, they were quicker at solving the mannequin puzzle than you. Eee! In a panic, you fall and slide out of the factory on your belly. Picking yourself up, you run into the woods. Mannequins dismissed. For hours, you scramble through dense forest, illuminated only by the regular camera flashes coming from your sinister foe, still giving chase. 
Abruptly, the woodland opens out onto a long strand of shoreline. A dark lake stretches infinitely out into the distance ahead of you. Broad patches of glistening ice across the water reflect a faint wintry moon. You turn, in time to see the photographer lurch from the woods. You see it is a tall man, impeccably dressed. <laughs> yeah. Leather gloves gripping a dented camera. Mm -hmm. With malice in his eyes and a demonic grin, he breaks into a sprint, eager for the final showdown. Do you, A, give up the fight, leaping headlong into the frozen lake, or B, block his first attack with your left wrist, then shatter his jaw with a devastating right hook? <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wants to go, mate, if you want a picture, I've got my phone, I can do a selfie, it's much more informal, it's really nice. Uh, I think it's He doesn't a... understand what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, you don't yeah. have a phone. I, oh, I'm going to... What's, what's this then? Um, <laughs> I'm going you don't have a to... phone in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand my ground, even though there is a very big chance that the lake isn't actually like a frozen lake and it's all like magic. It's also quite a high chance that he's Mark Jacobs. So... Yeah, that's true. True. Okay. I'm going to turn around and You've be gone like... for option B. Yeah. Block his first attack with your left <laughs> wrist then shatter his jaw with a devastating right hook. <laughs> Ellen, this is the end game. <laughs> oh. You've chosen option B. You try to do exactly that, <laughs> but you cannot. Oh. You have no wrists, no fists, because you are, and always were, the penguin from the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and viewer, the clues were all there. You noisily grope your way up the lawn, stumbling as your large feet catch in the knotted grass. <laughs> The temperature has dropped even further to freezing levels, but it doesn't seem to bother you. You struggle with the doorknob, but eventually manage to turn it enough to open the door. You fall and slide out of the factory on your belly. One must be several miles in the distance, but you can tell immediately it's some kind of cannery or fish processing plant. Why didn't the cat attack me? Cats don't attack penguins, that's not a thing. They attack birds! I, I found it weird that that's what you're fixating on as evidence that you're not a penguin, <laughs> but fine. <laughs> Shattered. Ellen's mind is shattered. She knows now the horrible, horrible truth that she is and always was. Milk penguin. <laughs> it's a crow. So that, so it, <laughs> no penguin in this universe. It's a crow, says the penguin, <laughs> unwilling to accept its own reality. Oh, also, did you, did you clock that the photographer was a marine biologist because he had a Master of Science, as it said on his business card? <laughs> that was possibly a bit too subtle. <laughs> The thing to focus on, thing to focus on is you didn't lose any lives, and I can tell you there were a lot of ways to lose lives in that. You didn't make any bad choices, apart from the last most important choice. Let's say that in the end, you didn't manage to land the punch, but as, as you went for the punch, you realised that you have a sort of flappy wing, and went, oh, I'm a penguin, I'll be fine <laughs> in the lake, and swam away to safety. Okay. What happens if I lose? And do I just get captured by a marine biologist and taken to like London Zoo or something? I, I, I think he actually is just there to photograph you. The <laughs> so the ending that I got was there's this marine biologist who comes up to a penguin and just going, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Where's your master of science now? <laughs> Well, Ellen, thank you for taking part in my quiz. Uh, let us know in the comments if you figured out that Ellen was a penguin or whether you're as surprised as she is. Oh, I uh, make this noise and I kind of go. It's not too bad, actually, is it? <laughs> Planet Earth has taught me <laughs> Well, guys, that's all we have to say about the Evil Within 2. Um, thank you, Ellen, for taking part. Um, hope you enjoyed that. But now let's find out what you guys have been saying in the comments. Woo. Last week we looked at some of the best third-party games that have come out or are scheduled to come out this year for the Nintendo Switch. Among all that information, commenter Vetzel noticed an interesting link between the games and the Nintendo fictional universe. Wait! If Link and Doom Guy are the same, and Bethesda has a multiverse thing for Elder Scrolls that makes it seem like Fallout and Elder Scrolls are different parts of the same multiverse, does that now mean that since Link is part of Elder Scrolls canon, that everything Bethesda publishes is really a universe of Zelda? No. Yes! Oh, but they are, Ellen! Luke, remember what you promised. Mm, fine, elsewhere. In order to get me to shut up about Link being Doom Guy, which he totally no, is! No, no, no! Ellen let me play with the dinosaurs in Ark Survival Evolved, but lots of them weren't playing nice. Oh, have we just spawned really close to where we are? Where we were before? Just do oh! oh! <laughs> 
Sir Richard Clarke noticed a lesson to be learned while playing this game. This game teaches us about dinosaurs, specifically that they were dirty spawn campers. I think he might be onto something there. Okay, let's try again. Oh! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> spawn died. Clever girl. Still, Andy MCP has some tips for us on how to survive more than three seconds before being killed by a dinosaur or a fellow player. As soon as you spawn, you need to scramble the materials together to make a door. You then open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. Okay, walk the dinosaur, I like it, but what are we talking here? Are we talking quadrupedal or bipedal? No, 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 Luke, it's, it's, a, it's a joke, it's a song from the 90s. Oh, finally. Jane did an excellent job covering for Ellen in Show of the Weekend, taking on my quiz about Shadow of War. I would accept a ring of power on the condition that I can control everyone's minds. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would mind control all the bad people to be good people. <laughs> I love how much like rationalization and <laughs> backstory really there was evil. to come around to control everyone's minds. Yes, Jane did do an excellent job stepping in for me, although I am now slightly worried about her using mind control on us all. Yeah, plus some people noticed a marked difference in our setup. Oh, really? Yeah, as Chocolate Rob noted, hmm, camera feels wonky for some reason, like the levelling is just off somehow. Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. And Akmal Ibrahim remarked, Luke must love it that he can look right without turning his head down. And Felix Beckenstein said, strange to see someone to the right of Luke on show of the weekend who isn't so much smaller than him, that totally threw me off. Yeah, all right, all right, I get it, I'm sure it's hilarious. Hey, I have more comments, I could keep going. No, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Tea bags are on the top shelf. Do you need me to come get them? Yes. Feeling better after that cuppa, Ellen? Oh yeah, much calmer. You gotta do what you gotta do to be camera ready. I'm just gonna watch that clip to get the <laughs> to get emotion. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. Just wants to help. Save your breath. Okay, I'm in. I'm there now. I'm oh in. my god! <laughs> <laughs> no flood. Oh Luke, it's okay. Remember last week when you made loads of cool Lord of the Rings references with Jay? That always cheers you up. Yeah. Flamingos. <laughs> Flamingos. Chop and boil them. Chop and stew. <laughs> the flamingos are getting heavier, Sam. <laughs> I do like flamingos. I do like Lord of the Rings. Okay, give me a minute and I'll be all right to continue. Well, hurry it up. You don't want to leave it too long, especially on weeks when there's a wood chipper outside. Quick, say it, Luke. Okay. And that, in a nutshell, is ghost. And that, in conclusion, is... I called it! I called it! Wood chippers. My greatest foe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Mm. Ah, stop it, no! Mm. Wood chipper flashbacks. Ah, no, stop it, no, stop it, stop it! I'm hurt on behalf of the trees. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you. And to, to make the trees happy again, why don't you hit that like button? Mm, I think you might be making <laughs> promises we can't necessarily keep there. <laughs> but hey, we don't know that trees don't like it. No. No. So yeah, you can give it a go, give it a try. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching guys. Thank There's loads you. more show of the weekend to watch if you yes. wanna uh, go through some of the old back episodes. Yeah, an entire yeah. playlist. Yeah, whole playlist. They're not very timely. It's just nonsense. You've, yeah. you've seen, <laughs> yeah. you've seen. You just watched it so, so you know. <laughs> yeah, you know the deal. Um, but thank you for watching guys. Yes. And uh, check back next time when hopefully Ellen will have realized <laughs> it's happening. She's realizing that she is a penguin. <laughs> Make penguin noise on three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>